Hi everybody, Lucifer here, and I was a bit bored and decided to do some simple builds in Minecraft. Now, this I did a while back, a mountain village, I think there's a video about it on my channel. But yeah, I built kind of a concept for a mountain village. Just because I felt like it. And today I actually wanted to make my vision of the nether. How I think nether biomes should look. Well, I did actually think about uh, sinking this entire area, creating a massive lake, because I like flooding stuff in Minecraft, but I remember that I actually started recording this with a cause, creating a nether that I want to see. Because normal nether biomes like warped forests and crimson forests, they are too big. They simply are too big for my vision of nether. I think nether should be more desolate, more sparse with resources. So yeah, there is an oasis of life, but it should be like a real life oasis. A bit of life in a sea of sand, or in this case, netherrack. And I think this here was a pretty good place for it, because it was a bit of a cove, closed from a couple of sides, so it could technically be protected from some negative elements of the nether that was the logic behind building here. And the idea is that you're going to have this older, more successful tree that is going to be the center of the little biome. And then maybe a couple of branches that are either sprung from the roots or are simply detached, somehow manage to survive in the vicinity, are most likely originated from the same tree, but in reality are their own little island. So yeah, this is the part I was talking about before, connected via roots with the other big one. And this is what I had in mind. Kind of. A couple of trees in a semi-protected area, maybe a bit bigger than this. Maybe a few hoglings running around, preferably one adult and two little ones. That would have been ideal in my mind. And then I proceeded to do the same in a even more protected location with the warped fungus. Now here I had another idea. Two different species, what if they have two different survival strategies? So the crimson forest could be more spread out, more, I don't know, sparse. While warp woods should be more dense. And it would also make sense that Hoglins, which are big, are in a more open area. So let's say you have 10 to 15 warpwood trees in the area, you would have 5 to about 8 crimson trees. So you have one species that likes semi-protected but open areas, and other that likes little dense holes in the wall. 
And then if you make warp wood a bit bigger and crimson trees a bit shorter, it would kind of fit with the biology of the creatures that inhabit them because endermen like warp wood. And the end result of my ideas was something like this. And the detached part is mycelium parging for the wall. Or, as I said before, a detached offspring. Now for the final idea. I decided to kind of build how first people coming to the nether would react. First and foremost, the portal, and I decided considering everything is made out of netherite brick here, well it's not, the bastions are, but let's presume, like lore-wise, that the same people who built the bastions built this. They would use the same materials. So netherite brick. Kind of semi-formal, semi-indoor wall. And they would definitely attempt to, well, farm. Or it can be a leftover from a farm if, considering to some lore nuts, Nether once was filled with water, but people destroyed it. You might still find some surviving parts of a ruined ecosystem. So maybe a couple of trees, some grass. And that would. That's why I tried to burrow here, but I was not patient enough to make a big enough hole. I might do that once. But if there is any moisture in the nether, it would be in the highest parts of it because water vapor rises. And higher parts should be somewhat colder, so condensation might support a half rundown ecosystem. With maybe a couple of trees, couple of flowers, and I don't know, maybe you add some nether bug. And finally, the new arrivals would probably try and make a place to rest in the nether. Because they are the first one here, they don't know anything about it. So, of course, a wooden hut would do fine for a night. And that's why I decided to actually build a wooden hut and then do the following. I plan on putting the actual explosion sound, but it did not record properly and I'm too lazy to go do it again. But yeah, maybe... Well, I did not think this true because everything was on fire and I completely forgot that Netherrack keeps lighting everything on fire. But yeah, maybe having remnants of a hut, maybe cobblestone lying around, maybe even pieces of wood, like an abandoned village, would be a nice touch. And what I also thought would be a nice touch is finding, well, I put a block of wool, but I could have easily just put some string on the floor, maybe cobwebs. So materials for a bed. And if you hard code it that the first time you actually build a portal you encounter something like this. Like materials from for the bed, planks, all destroyed, all surrounded by fire. Maybe it would be a good indicator for new players what not to do because Everybody knows not to sleep in the nether, but there's new people trying this game every day, so why not make it a bit easier for them? And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little presentation of what goes inside my mind when I'm bored. And bye.